is unlike any car you've ever seen before. Because no one has ever thought this way about a car before. This is strength and lightness. This is an interior that exceeds the promise of the exterior. This is technological innovation in overdrive. This is the all-new Jaguar XJ. The stunning result of taking a very different road. First of all, if we can get back to the game at Harlequins at the weekend, did you enjoy that one? Yeah, it was great. Um, obviously, I haven't played that many 80 minutes this year. And to get a good run out with a good win as well, you know, perhaps when people weren't, weren't expecting we would, was, you know, it was excellent. <laughs> You know, the sort of atmosphere and the, the enthusiasm shown by the boys was uh, was really positive. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people spoke about the enthusiasm and the atmosphere. Was, was that the thing that, that pleased the team most? Yeah, I think so. You know, a lot of the boys there, I'd say the majority, hadn't played a huge amount. You know, we played a few second team games together, and um, you know, we built up a bit of a team spirit there. And I think you know, sort of just that you know, excitedness at being able to play play a big game. You know, 14,000 odd at Quinns um, and they put a decent team out so I think I think that sort of enthusiasm there was was really good and obviously you know Boss's little little chat at the start of the game you know fired everyone up and uh, you know we tore into the game and played really well. Yeah Boss has been quite humble about it we've tried to, to speak to him about it what sort of things is he saying what sort of moves he trying to get across? Uh, I just think it was that sort of desire to know not just to just to play rugby but you know to, to play for play for your teammates as well um, and I think that sort of sunk in with everyone. You sort of looked around and thought, yeah, we'll, we'll have a good crack at this. Yeah, what have you sort of found about the Tigers since you moved here? Um, it's what I expected. You know, when I came here, you know, I'd heard a lot of stories about you know, tough training and and it certainly hasn't disappointed. Um, you, know, you have to be sort of on your metal every training session. You, know, you can't have a, can't slack off or have a little jerk around and stuff. So, but you know, ultimately that's going to that's going to improve you as a player if you him to switch on all the time um, and just yeah the forwards training sessions have been have been tough but it's just a case of getting used to them and I think yeah, hopefully six seven months in I've, I've got used to it a little bit more than I had at the start and I think hopefully it's improved me as a player. And how do you balance that because you're a full-time student as well aren't you? Yeah um, I've been for the last three years um, obviously this year I'm not living at uni like I have been the last two so it's been slightly, slightly different, slightly harder, sort of getting into lectures and stuff. But you know, it's, at the end of the day, you can, you could, you can just about manage it. You know, go home and do a little bit of work. It's not too bad. Yeah, so is that distance learning then? And what is it you're studying? Uh, I study sociology. Um, it's, it's a full time degree supposedly, even though I go in for about three hours a week. Um, but so far, so far, so good. Yeah, and um, you've got exams coming up. How, how's the studying going? Uh, well, I've got my dissertation in in an, a month and a half. What's that? What's the subject there? Well, I'm actually doing it on uh, doping in in rugby. Okay. I've got I won't say who, <laughs> but um, a few people I know sort of back home. Um, so I'm just interviewing them and getting a bit of research about that. But you know, it's just just a case of getting it done. Really, I. I've enjoyed it, but now it's you know my final year. Just just want to get out of the way, really. Yeah, and sort of goals for the rest of the season with the Tigers. Um, well, I think I'd like we'd like to get to the LB Cup final if we could. You know, we've got got close now, and you know, within a couple of games of doing it, um, I think I think that'd be good for the club. You know, especially having got knocked out of the Heineken Cup. You know, perhaps a bit earlier than we expected. Um, but you know, ultimately, I think we want to get in that top four, don't we? And get to the final. Yeah, and, and just to mention on the RV Cup final there, the final will be back in a six way, so there's an incentive there for you to go back to your stomping grounds. Yeah, definitely, it'd be, uh, it'd be nice. I went back earlier in the season, obviously at Christmas, but I was, wasn't playing, but it was still nice to go back there and see everyone again. Um, but you know, it'd be nice to go back and actually play this time. <laughs>